everyone. Today we're going to be finding out about insulation. I wonder what you already know about how heat is lost or gained. How do we keep picnic food cold in the summer? How do polar bears stay warm in the icy Arctic? I wonder if you ever use insulation to keep warm when it's cold. Insulation is really important in our world. We can save money on energy bills by insulating our homes, which in turn will save the environment by reducing our carbon footprint. Medicines and vaccines can be kept cool in insulated cool bags while they're being transported to hospitals and doctors. Insulation is also really important in nature. A thick layer of fat keeps penguins and polar bears warm in their icy habitats and woolly hats and warm coats keep us warm in the winter. What do you already know about this? Pause the recording to have a think. I wonder if you thought of any of these things. Let's find out which materials make the best insulation. For this investigation, you will need to make some ice cubes in advance. To do this, you will need some containers that you can fill with water and freeze. If you haven't got an ice cube tray, you might want to think about using bottle tops, foil cake cases, yoghurt pots, or an empty plastic egg box that you can fill with water and freeze to make your ice. Any container you choose is fine, but you must make sure that your ice cubes are the same size so that your test is fair. Now that your ice cubes are ready, you need to gather the materials that you're going to test. I chose a thin sock, a cushioned sports sock and a fluffy bed sock. But you can choose any materials you find around the house. Perhaps you'd like to test if cotton wool, bubble wrap, foil or a plastic bag make good insulators. Now you're ready to begin the investigation. Pop one ice cube into a sock and then put the sock into a cup or bowl to catch any melted water. I'm going to secure mine with a peg. Repeat for the other two socks. If you're using other materials like foil or cotton wool, wrap the ice cube up and put it into the cup. Now start your timer. After 15 minutes, observe what has happened to the ice. Have any of the ice cubes started to melt yet? Do any of the socks feel wet? If so, which ones? Check your ice cubes every 15 minutes, each time observing how much of the ice is melted and how much of the container is covered in water. Perhaps you'd like to measure the size of the ice cubes at different stages of the investigation. Which ice cube is melting the fastest? What questions do you have? Pause the recording to have a think. I wonder if you thought of any of these questions.
What will you find out today? I wonder what materials you will test. Which ice cube will stay frozen the longest? Which sock is the best insulator? Don't forget to tell someone else what you find out. Maybe your friends or your family or maybe your teacher. But whatever you do, remember to have fun. Bye.